That's a good one. That's a good snook. Oh, dude, no way. Dude, it's a bacon. That might be the biggest trout I've ever caught. What is going on, everyone? So, I wanted to start the morning trying to see if I could get some pompano by a jetty, but it's a little bit windier than they were calling for. They were saying four mile an hour, and it's way more than four. So, it was a, a solid two footers at the jetty with some dirty water. So, I was like, ah, probably not the best for pompano. Pompano usually like the clearer water. It's about 8 30 in the morning right now. Low tide, a little bit dirty water. Sun is already up higher than I wanted it to be, but. I wanna at least try throwing a top water for a little bit. This is a Moonwalker by Salt Strong. Quick plug, if you guys wanted to pick up a little BOGO deal, they got that. I'll have a link down in the description if you guys wanna pick up these lures, they're solid lures, but enough of that. I'm gonna throw it on this little grass flat right here at the low tide. I've gotten redfish and trout out here on top artists specifically in the past. So let's see if we can get on some and make it a day. Like I said, I got the Moonwalker right here. Got about a foot and a half, two foot section of 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I got this big grass flat right in front of me. It's about two, two and a half feet deep at the low part of the tide. I'm gonna throw around the soft water, see if there's any trout out here or maybe some redfish as well. See if we can start the day with some top water action. Give it about five pops. And this bait will just dart back and forth on the surface, kind of an erratic pattern. And it'll make a little bit of noise too. That's what help in this uh, little bit dirt, dirtier water that we got right here. Another little tip that I like to do when I said pop it five times is to let it sit for one or two seconds. Seems like most of the bites that you get are on that pause. Like a fish will follow it while you're twitching it. As soon as you pause it, they see it as like an opportunity to come up and strike it. One thing you really want to look for is mullet. Usually if you can find an area that's holding mullet, either on a grass fly or an area that's got some structure like an oyster bar or some mangrove shorelines. That's gonna hold some fish. You can find where the mullet are, usually the redfish and trout and everything, snook, are hanging out with the mullet. Oh my God, like that. I just got annihilated, but missed it. That thing blew up on that bait so hard. He just missed it. Get the bait back over there, see if he's still just hanging out in that area. I threw the moonwalker for about another hour and didn't get another bite. So I decided to change it up and go get some live bait. Let's see if we can get some bait this morning. Out here under a bridge, marking a lot on the grass. It's probably gonna be threadies, but we'll make it work. We got some. Looks like threadies. Just loaded up the live well with about four or five dozen uh, good sized threadfin herring, all about three to six inches long. Really perfect size baits for inshore fishing around here. The snook and redfish and even the trout will love them. Uh, I'm sure we're gonna get on some fish here. I'm thinking about pitching them around some docks, maybe some uh, mangrove shorelines with the tide coming up the way it is. So. We got a lot of options now. We got some good baits. Red fins are great baits, especially when they get to about this size. They're a lot hardier than they are when they're a lot smaller. So it's almost 11 a.m. now. Let's see if we can get on some fish. We got about another hour, hour and a half of incoming. I'm gonna try it live chumming. I'm gonna be using a bigger setup just in case we do hook one of these big ones. There we go. Yep, this is my Shimano Saragossa 10K. And let's see if there's any big snook that wanna play. I'm gonna go light this up. Screw it, let's have fun. I guess got eaten. Got him. Got him. That's a good one. That's a good snook. There we go. 
come on over here. As soon as I switch a lighter setup, I get a good one. Just gotta make sure I keep them out of docks. Here it comes. Comes right to the boat now. That's a decent one. Not a monster. But good size snook right there on the thready. Oh, broke me off there. Yeah, had a little too much heat on him. All right, maybe I do need the bigger setup. That was probably like a 34, 35. Is that a fish? Yep. Yep, that's a fish. That's a snook. Okay. Got my drag pretty tight. He's not a monster. Kind of play him out here. I can honestly loosen up on him a little bit. Yeah, he's not big. Probably not even slot size. But hey, first fish of the day right there, if I can get my hands on him. First one I hooked was way bigger. But this guy was perfect size for this combo. Yeah, he's probably like right at slot. There you go. Hook around the corner of the mouth. Get him over here. Not a bad first fish of the day. It just kind of took me a while. It's probably like right at 26, 27 inches. 2-0 circle hook around the corner of the mouth. There it goes. And he just very gently piped that thread fin right there. So cool looking fish. Get a release on him. Take your time, buddy. See you, dude. After releasing that snook, I ended up catching one more dink snook on a live bait, but that was it. I didn't catch anything else for the rest of the day. So the rest of this video is gonna take place on the next day when I went out with JC from JC Fishing out on his boat, and we're going to primarily be throwing top water lures. Now if we can get like, on them where it's like at every cast because then I will get the Sony out with the other lens. Oh my god! Big one. Big one, dude. Okay. I think. It looks big. Not as big as that one that I saw. Hooked him right on the front hook, dude. Nice. Yeah. Bottom jaw with the front hook? That's weird. Give him a good old... I'm a little high up so I'm just going to send him. Send him. Bye. There he goes. I'm gonna try and get a couple toward the mangroves like I you just got yours. Two, two hits back to back. And yeah. Fish, so. Oh, got him. got him. There we go. Finally, I was able to hook one of these trout on top water. It doesn't feel terrible, but that's also, you were saying the other one that you had was, you're pretty much calling it a gator. Bigger. You know, if they ain't taking drag, I don't want them. Just kidding, I'll take any trout that hits the top water. Pretty good. Maybe a little bit bigger than yours, not a big deal. All right, just, yeah, it's fine. He's got both the hooks. That's how I got him. And he pops off right there. Oh, <laughs> he's got both the hooks. I'm fine. Ding! <laughs> one little shake the head and he's gone. That's called quick release. All right, you just want to see me catch another one? Yeah, just hold the camera filming. Okay, let me cast it back over there. Dude, you literally had both. Oh, I got hit. <laughs> yep, it's, this is now ever cast. Got him. <laughs> and I get him on like the most gentle eat of all of them on that. So quiet. Oh my God, <laughs> you see that jump? What? You... I wasn't filming it. Why did I, I saw oh, he it, popped though. off, he popped <laughs> off. <laughs> Dude, that trout jumped like five feet to the left in the air like uh, like you ever see like a mahi like greyhound? It was just like that. These are good sized trout. When good sized trout are just smacking topwaters like this, it is a lot of fun. It is like, what, almost 12 o'clock? Yep. 
and they're coming up like in three. No, oh, dude, you looked away. You looked yeah. away. It just blew up while it wasn't moving. I heard it. It was like we're in like what three, three and a half for it. Yeah, and they're still coming up. And oh my god, dude, he's still, still on it. Still oh on my it. god, still on it, still on it. Do you see these fish? I was gonna say I really want to get Dude, the drone, some. The drone would be so cool. The too. drone, and I want to get that other lens on and do like the zoomed in tight barramundi. We might want to drift a little bit closer for that. Yeah. Um, I feel like you should catch a couple first before we start. Okay, fine. Where's my arm? It's kind of like bear mundi, just they don't fight as much. Yeah. It's like those little baby bear mundi. Yeah. Even they fought. Oh my God. The cold front got the trout fired up. I know that 70 degree water now, this cold front that came through dropped the water temp like 10 degrees. These trout are loving it. Got him. Oh my goodness. He was doing barrel rolls out there. You are staying pinned. Why is he so jumpy? Oh, no, I was just doing yeah, look yeah now look at him. He going crazy. He popped off. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> these past 48 hours of fishing have not been easy for me. It's fun. Like, it's fun. The fish are wanting. Fish are wanting to play, but work. all right. One more cast. If it's like that, I'm handing you the rod. And I'm grabbing that camera. No, dude, you haven't even landed one yet. I don't care. I want to get some of that slow mo before they stop hitting. Oh, got him. All right, I'm gonna be. So freaking careful with this fish. Silence. It's like golf, you got the quiet sign. With the birds chirping. The birds chirping, it's so peaceful out here. Come on over here, Mr. Trout. These trout are going crazy right now. These are all good trout. Like these are all clearly over 15, over a keeper size trout. And they're just smacking top waters in the middle of the afternoon. Yeah, that's another one about the size of yours. Oh, he's only got one hook. Oh no! Leader touch! And there we go. He's got the moonwalker hanging from his mouth right there. These trout are extremely aggressive this afternoon. We think the cold front's got them fired up. And they're smacking top waters in about three to four feet of water in the middle of the afternoon. You gotta love it. Beautiful fish. Let's get a release on them. See you, dude. Should I go to the right more? Or, oh, dude, no way. It never even blew up on him. It never even blew up on it. I'm like, of course, I'm freaking filming it's it. It's a big one, too. Dude, it's a big one. Never even blew up on it. All right, guys, we're hooked up on a Ooh. freaking drag peeling trout here. It never even blew up on it. Jeez, dude. How big is it? It's a big trout. I'm telling you, it never even blew up on it. You were recording the whole time, too. Line. I know, I see it. Big, big trout. Dude, that that might be one of my biggest trout. That's a stud. That thing's kind of a unit. He's hooked with one in the corner. Oh, we have a net. You want me to grab we it? We have a net on the boat. I never bring nets. Oh my gosh, I've never seen a net on our boat. Wow. Did you just net a fish on my boat? <laughs> Help. <laughs> you see how I was trying to like lift him up with my rig? <laughs> Dude, that is a stud trout. That's a unit. That might be my biggest trout ever. I got the slow mo. I'm not I even got kidding. Slow mo everything. That might be the biggest trout I've ever caught. I'm just gonna quickly switch to the. Can other you lines. hold him in the water so I can uh, get yep. a measuring tape out? Yep. I gotta find right. it. I don't know exactly where it is, but I know I have one. Got it. Thank you. What the heck, dude? 
freaking stud. I'd say it's over 23, you're probably right. That's my 23 P and a half, 24. That's my PB. If, I, if it's over 23, that's my PB. There we go. Oh my God. All right, let's get a quick measure. If that's flat, that's level. He's almost 25. Almost 25. He's 24 and three quarter. So that's a new PB for you. Uh, midday, throwing topwaters. And uh, yeah, the, uh, this was the result. Um, didn't make a sound on the blow up, but you know, clearly when it's pulling drag, we knew it was a decent one. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in the water real quick, grab some pictures, let her go. Yeah, dude, that's a solid fish. Look at that pretty fish. It's always a good idea to keep, keep the bigger trout safe and uh, in the water as much as possible. Oh, she's ready. Sweet PB. There Thank you go, you, dude. dude. Appreciate you filming. My turn. I'm just powerful here. Yeah. You guys that way? I feel like, I feel like it'll work, right? Yeah. You got a top water now? You want to switch rods? Whatever I guess that is your rod. Whatever one you want. No, you're that's good. That's my rod too. Hey, that's what I was saying. I thought that was like my rod. But, well, that's what I was saying. It's not your rod, but. Okay, Captain. <laughs> oh, Captain, my Captain. Let me make sure we're spot on. Dude, you're working that right along the edge. That's, that's satisfying. Oh, I got oh, hit. On oh. oh, on you again. Oh, oh dude, got is him. that a big one? I don't know. Dude, that <laughs> doesn't look small. He doesn't really like try to run or anything. He's literally running right out the boat. Literally running right out the boat. He hasn't fought at all. It looked decent. That's not bad. Oh. He ain't. Nah, he was just, I mean, he ain't bad. He's like a 17 inch fish. There's apparently a lot of them out there. Your bait might drift into the mangroves. Here I go. There we go. Another solid fish. He's drumming. He's drumming a little bit. Solid fish, not like JC's, but I'll take it. See you, dude. Squirrely little trout. I thought he was big too, but yeah, I was like, yeah. my dude, he hasn't fought at all. How do you feel about that toss? It's shaped like Florida. Kind of was. Long and lanky. There's some good pins in there. Yeah, those will do. Push on. About 10 minutes later of throwing cup eight. Got ourselves a decent red. That's not a, that's not a small one at all. Dude, yeah, that's a good one. Come here, dude. There's a lot of rocks around here, so we're trying to keep the rod high. There we go, that's the target species. Dude, why do they fight so hard here? Oh my gosh, dude. Look at him digging him, his head into the ground. Dude, grass. why are they so strong here? That's a good one. Dude, he's not even that big, he's just strong. He's pretty big. It's a strong 25 inch redfish. Probably 24, 25. Look at How the thick. absolute girth that's on this guy. Th it really is a thick one. It's not a bad red. It's a really thick one. Like, that's a tall 20 something inch redfish, but just throwing cut bait up by the mangroves. We're gonna go ahead and let this guy go. Why is he so thick? <laughs> like, Why are you so thick? Look at that. There he goes. Hey, good job. <laughs> 